Good day, everyone. And if you run into a problem, you're running out of room in your home. You just don't know what to do with your preps. You want to prep a little bit more, but how can I increase the space that I have in my home, my apartment, my townhome, my student dorm? Well, there's ways you can do that, folks. Now, as you know, I've been doing some dehydrating videos and stuff. So I've dehydrated up some things, everything else, and I did put all of them in canning jars. Now, they do take up a lot of space. I mean, look how big these jars are. I mean, they're huge, right? So if you want to take and you want to make some room, something you could do once you dehydrate all your products are, you have to go out and purchase yourself some good Mylar bags, all right? Get some Mylar bags. Now these here are really cool because what they have like the Ziploc. So you can put everything in here, as you'll see here shortly, you can put everything in here and then you can take and you can put your oxygen over in, then seal it. And then on this small lip right here is where you can seal it. Now I do not use a Mylar bag sealer. I use an iron. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. We're going to do up some of these and I did pick up some extra rice. I'm going to split this 10 pound bag in half and do two five pound bags. I do have, like I have talked about in my rice videos, how to store your rice and everything else, how I break it down into like one cup, two cup, three cup and everything else. I'm doing this for long term food storage, something that I'm not going to touch unless it's absolutely necessary and I can take from the other sections that I've already done and use those, whether it be a one cup, two cup, three cup, because things are good to barter with. And you could probably do that with your, with your dehydrated vegetables too. This way here, you could do it in smaller portions and get smaller Marlar bags and you could break it up and maybe give you a barter tool. So stay tuned, I'm going to reposition the camera so you can see a good shot of what I'm doing right here and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see here, we have to have our Mylar bags, we have to have our oxygen absorbers. Okay, these are the big ones, all right, you can get them in different sizes, but these are the 500 cc's. And if you order from, if you do your research, you can find different companies, I'll try to put a link down below in the description of these Mylar bags that I purchased and they give you these great little stickers that you can put on the outside and label what everything is. So you just have to take and get your Mylar bag and open it up. Now, you hear that? That's because I vacuum sealed cans with my vacuum seal. And you just take, dump all those in. And see, you get about that much. Now you could use a smaller bag, but I'm gonna take and push these out. And I'm not gonna seal these all the way up yet. I'm gonna leave just enough room where I can get the oxygen absorber in. So we're gonna go through, and I want you guys to hear that again, all right? This is from me vacuum sealing. You hear that? That was totally vacuum sealed. Now, I'm not going to do anything and get rid of these jars. What I'm going to do is put them in my dishwasher, a sanitize feature on my dishwasher that I can take and I can sanitize these. I can sanitize my lids and everything else and have them ready for the next projects that I want to do. But as you can hear, let me get that on there. You hear all nice and vacuum packed some of them are really on there which that's what you really want folks you really want to have that nice vacuum seal hear that so we have potatoes in here we have mixed vegetables in here we have dried carrots in here we have peas, I just did the corn, and then we have green beans. So I'm going to take and put all this stuff in these bags. Rice is pretty self-explanatory. You just kind of split the bag and however much you want to do and then put it into your bag. 
So I'm not going to show you and, and bore you with the details and everything else. I'll be back when this is all finished and we're putting the oxygen absorbers in. Okay, folks, now we're ready to start to put our oxygen absorbers into all our different bags. We've got four bags over here, four bags over there. So we have eight bags that we're going to do. All right. Now, like I did say, these are 500 cc oxygen absorbers. All right. You can use whatever size you wish. Um, I like to go a little heavy and just to make sure that there is no air, especially in the big bags of rice, because you're doing, uh, you know, there's a lot of area for air, if you get what I'm saying. With a lot of this stuff, there is. So you want to make sure that you're putting in enough. And if you're not sure, throw an extra one in. It's better to have a little bit more in there, an extra one for say, this way here, you're covered and your food is going to last for a very, very long time, folks. So you also want to make sure that you do have a clean mason jar with a lid that is ready to go because if you do not use all your oxygen absorbers, you want to take and put them in here and seal them up as quick as possible. This way here, they don't go bad on you and they're in here and once they seal, they'll pop the top themselves. They'll suck the air right out of the, the glass jar and you're good to go and they'll stay fine in here until the next time you need to use them. So it's a great way to store your oxygen absorbers is in a canning jar with a lid. And you just put this on here and you'll see. So let's get these suckers opened up. They do come with this little pack in here. And as long as that little pack is that color right there, you're good to go. So when you take these out, they should feel nice and you can do anything with them. All right. So we're going to take the one in there. All right, I'm going to start the sealing process. You want to suck out as much air as you possibly can. All right, so you guys kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here. I'm going to finish them off real quick. I'm not going to bore you anymore, and I'll be ready. Hey, right folks, so we're all done. We're all cleaned up. Put all the jars and the lids and everything in the dishwasher. We got everything labeled with the dates and everything else. The space that we can save by doing these, because once these things start to suck down and everything else, it'll take a little time. You'll start seeing it pretty much right away, but it'll take a little time. I would check them in a day make sure that they have sucked all the air out if not you may have to add more oxygen absorbers that's the key you want to check these in 24 hours and see how they are once they get rock solid they're good to go so you know you may have to reopen the bag or put them in a different bag and add more oxygen absorbers than what you originally put into your food products that you are using in your mylar bags all right so I'm going to put a description in the description below. There'll be a link to these type of Mylar bags that I get from Amazon and everything else. They come with oxygen absorbers. They come with the nice little stickers. They do come and it's a variety pack. So you get all different shapes and sizes. It's easy to do the zip lock and then you can take and seal this area here. And the reason they do that is it's a pull top right here. You can just take and pull that right off. So if you have to access this stuff, you still have a container you can store it in. So you don't have to use it all at once. So say something happened and you just wanted to use half of your mixed vegetables for a dish. You could open this bag up, tear it right along here, take out what you need, reseal it with the, the sealer right there, and then you can use these another day. They're gonna last for a while. So this way here, you don't have to use all the product at one time. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope that all these little tips and tricks to help save some space and everything, because you can take these things once they're all done, you can take and break them down, get you a small tote that fits right underneath your bed. You can store them under your bed. You can store them in a small container in your closet. You just don't want to store any of these type of products or any of your products 
that you are prepping in like your garage, in your attic, any place where it's not temperature controlled. But there's a lot of different ways that you can get around that. Like I did say, you know, if you need to save space, get the little space saver totes that slide underneath your bed and you could just slide them under there. You could stack a lot of these bad boys once they're all done down underneath there, slide them underneath your bed and you just saved a bunch of room on your counters, on your cupboards, on your shelves and everything else for more and other important supplies. So until next time, folks, you keep prepping. Always think outside the box and make sure that you're thinking about how and there's always a will, there's a way. If you want to save space, you can figure it out. This is a great idea for you. And this way here, you can prep more and be ready for whatever is coming down the pike. And I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of it. So until next time, folks, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.